Hello and welcome to another how to video. My name is Ditech, CTO at DVS, and don't forget to like, subscribe, bing, and share, comment, and suggest anything that you want to see moving forward. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are in the world, and please remember that we will get through this together. So, what I'm going to show you today is how to set up the store counting. Um, social distancing system, whatever you want to call it. It's a very visual indicator of how many people are in the store and then when you can enter or not enter the shop. And there is two methods you can do this. Via the people counting camera, which is this one on the roof here. Ta-da! Like there, that's it. Or through the iSeries uh, GUI interface, which is this here or a combination of both. And what the camera will give you is this, this OSD uh, text on the screen with a black background so the text stands up, stands out, um, or you can just have the GUI on the iSeries customized firmware. So I'm gonna transfer you over to a PC, we're gonna take a look at how to set both up, and then we'll answer any questions on the comments that you leave after. Stay safe, stay tuned, see you in two seconds. Okay, so welcome back. So we're now uh, looking at through the web browser, we will show you the setup of the web browser. So a couple of things I wanna show you quickly before we move on is, you need this dedicated people counting camera. Whether you're using it for the in isolation so you're using it with a customized firmware to show the black screen and the color OSD or you're using it with the i-series NVR this is the latest dual lens color people counting camera if you've already got one of the older people counting cameras on there um, and you want to use the i-series then that should be fine but if you want to use the dedicated firmware on this people counting camera to, sh to in isolation for a cost-effective solution then you need this model so you can see dual lens people counting camera many of you have already switched over to this and that's what we're actually selling now if you're using the i series nvr so this is the 77 series so we do this in a 7716 7732 and then we do the 9000 so uh, 3264 uh channel in the i series also with the dedicated firmware so this really is a powerful solution where you can have a cost-effective camera standalone or you can have an i-series NVR and have it as part of a larger CCTV system within the store and allows you to interact with it that way. But it also allows more than one camera to be added to the store, uh, to the system. So if you've got a store that has two entrances, two entrance exits, or three, four, then you, you'd use an i-series NVR, add these multiple cameras and create a group, or you'd use Hike Central. So we many of you contacted us after the Hike Central uh, video that I did of the store counting solution we actually sell a NUC unit now it's an intel NUC unit an i7 unit really small no bigger than an iphone it allows for very quick rapid deployment it's a very neat solution compared to a tower and that most people would use traditionally so it is a very neat and easy system to deploy so the hike central system really comes into its own if you have a central deployment and um, lots of stores uh, in a typical retail uh, environment where you want to deploy the system centrally add all of the stores into a centralized system to manage it and then each store has their own client interface with that GUI um, running at the front door to stop or allow access to it. Um, that, uh, this little NUC unit really does lend itself to that because it can be sort of Velcro to the back of the monitor, um, really quick and easy to deploy and really powerful as a centrally managed and deployed system. But many people don't have that environment. So whilst that's, we'd class that as the higher end solution, the IP camera is great for a store with one door, one entrance exit, and you want to give them a really cost effective solution uh, or the I series for more than one door um, and want to give them a CCDV system as well. So three sort of products that you need to have either now or move to to get this solution. So if we go to the camera first, if I go back to the camera first, what I'll show you quickly is the interface to the camera. So, this is the model number of the camera, which I just showed you. If you've got the older uh, people counting camera, unfortunately, we don't have customized firmware to give this solution, but it will work with the iSeries or with Hike Central, especially. Um, but again, for the standalone solution, you need this model with this firmware here which we can send you or hike vision will happily send you with this model the output relay 
uh, that's built into the camera is automatically uh, set to trigger and latch more importantly when the threshold of the people counting is reached so from that you could drive a traffic light a sound a buzzer you could even lock a door and um, perhaps again depends on how your system is set up and what sort of uh, precautions you want to take but you could effectively use that output to do one of those things to sort of further enhance the store limiting capabilities of this system so it really really is quite a little powerful system uh, especially because it's only one camera the camera is poe or 12 volts so very quick and easy to deploy and we've got a full setup manual on that so again that camera with that firmware the only thing i would consider you to look at is under basic event an alarm output if you are going to use the alarm output to drive anything from it then you need to make sure the schedule is set to 24 7 by default it's not set to 24 7 it's uh, blank and therefore it won't work so just to uh, enable that make sure it's uh, set and uh, anything you connect to that will be driven from that threshold counting that's sort of it from there under network and advanced settings you can set up uh, or input email details in there so if you want this camera to email you or the store um manager or the marketing people whatever that might be you can set an email up there and send it to three receivers they will get this counting data daily weekly monthly uh, or yearly perhaps which will really help to show in this sort of time one how many people are going in and when those busy times are because it's broken up by hour so do you adjust staffing levels do you have to put a new process do you close later do you open earlier you know all of these things become really powerful to help manage the store um, functionality itself so again I would probably say yes fill this in the camera in itself can handle and send out these reports so under the VCA application please make sure that you have set it to people counting and uh, not monitoring and under people counting here it's as simple as this please enable the people counting rule and um, with privacy mode on this the actual CCTV image uh, is set to go black so you don't get any CCTV image and what you'll see is you'll have green text on there it'll go red when the threshold occupancy is reached so it's green so enter nobody's in or out or left uh, and nobody's in uh, so from today at midnight it's reset nobody's gone in nobody's left and nobody's still in the building so therefore one person is available to enter because i've set the people threshold to one now if i wanted a maximum of 50 people at any time in my store i just simply adjust and click save that will update to 50 so when 50 people have entered the osd text will go red and then the relay on the camera will latch closed which could then drive a, a traffic light lock the door etc um or you know any other sort of crazy invention that you can come up with there's only me here that goes in and out of this room so i'm just going to put it down to one and that will adjust back the text will go red um, and then go green appropriately. So red is stop, green is, is go. And what I would say with this is if I disable privacy mode here and click save, you'll see the CCTV image come back underneath. So always set up the camera um, and calibrate it without the privacy mode on so you can check it's working and you can see the enter and leave count in the top right hand corner and you can have more than one region. This is typical of a store though, but you can sort of adjust this, set it up, calibrate it, I'm in schedule 24 seven and linkage method. Once you're happy this works, enable privacy mode, click save, and it'll go back to that um, sort of black screen with the text uh, highlighted in the screen. Now you could view it through a web browser. You could, so if I um, went to live view, wait for this to catch up. So you could leave it on a web browser like that, full screen. Uh, you could have IVMS 4200 with this view in permanently full screen. Uh, or you could have it on an NVR, so a Turbo DVR, K-Series NVR, an older DVR NVR. Add it as an IP channel. Then you could have this full screen at the entrance exit. This works really well if you have a staff member, a security guard or personnel who can then visually see green is go, red is stop. So they can sort of aid the public uh, into coming in or stopping and you can see the actual live count on the screen what i would say is you can see there it doesn't typically lend itself that well um to the public being able to view that understanding it and translating as they have to stop or or proceed into the store it, m it becomes more of an aid uh, for 
personnel to then allow or stop as an electronic aid rather than counters, etc. Um, but again, you could use it as a visual aid on a monitor permanently like this. But again, uh, probably not. So that's pretty much the config. I'll go back to the VCA. So that's how sort of that camera would interact, or you could potentially interact with it. Just want to run through the couple of other functions within this. So you've got shield region, uh, if you want to mask off an area of non-detecting, but not used very often. Data uploading. So again, like I said, if you fill the email details out, you can select the email format and when this um, report is going to be emailed. And it becomes really powerful in helping the store understand their footfall. Overlay and capture. So again, you can don't have to worry too much about these details here, but again, Flow information is enter, leave, or none. Counting type is adult, child, or all. So in this given environment, we're counting all people because any person in a building would potentially be an additional risk. And man daily reset time is always default midnight, but you can simply adjust to which one fits your store profile, you know, by simply from the drop choosing the appropriate one from the drop down box, or click manual reset, and then that will reset that data manually if it was skewed for any instance. Um, but again, every every midnight that will be reset. And then under advanced, you've got some additional um, configuration options like enable height filter, counting children, etc. Where this is more for if it's not counting accurately and we really need to sort of look at the algorithms and adjust how they work. Uh, I'd say for default operations, you don't need to go in there and it could potentially make it worse. But contact us or height vision if you feel you need to uh, speak to us on this. Okay, so moving on, if I go into the NVR itself, so the NVR you saw has the potential to have the dedicated GUI screen. So if you're using a 77000i series, uh, 7716, 7732, or a 9000, then this will give you, they have more than one monitor output on them. So you could dedicate a monitor output, which would be either on a drop down pole on a big screen, which we've seen some people do uh, in front of the entrance exit, um, or it would be uh, on a you know, a pedestal stand or just screwed to the wall, perhaps on a cantilever bracket to visually show uh, when you can enter or not enter the store. And again, you could have a staff member that says stop or go um, and they use that as a visual aid uh, to let those people in. And again, it could take a, an output from the camera or the NVR itself and lock a door perhaps. But the, the, it really becomes a really powerful visual aid with the screen that you saw, uh, saw, saw earlier on in the demonstration. But you can also, if you've got more than, the, the NVR lends itself typically, if you've got a, a site-wide CCTV system, then it encompasses it in one system. But if you've got more than one entrance exit, so you might have a two, three, or four entrance exits, you can add those cameras into an NVR. And then even though you dedicate one monitor output to the counting uh, side of things, to the, the dedicated, you know, the visual uh, store entrance aid, you could take that out, put it to a splitter, send those over Cat5, HMI or VGO and Cat5 and have one at each entrance exit. So they all mimic each other and they're, mir and they're mirrored. So it becomes quite a powerful solution if you deploy it correctly, of course, or we've also got the Hike Central for the larger complicated systems. So again, configuration, you do, right, so first, the, you need an iSeries NVR. So iSeries NVR 77 or 9000. And this is that customized version of firmware that you require. What I would say is be very careful. Um, if you on version 4.22 firmware, which is the most recent release, uh, if you downgrade to this version, the NVR will default. So please back up your settings, especially your IP camera settings, network settings, emails, anything like that. Make a note of it because when you go down to this version, it will default. If you're on a, a pre, an old version, this and update it, it shouldn't default. But always back it up is a good practice anyway. Okay, so, hmm. um, the only menu that we've added in here, I'm not going to go through the full i series um, options because we've done this many times. The only one you need to be very familiar with is camera management, and there's this new. You'll see your camera, uh, IP cameras I've added there. And the group, camera group configuration, this is where you can set this up through a web browser. You can do this through the local GUI of the NVR as well. It's set out in exactly the same way. But again, we've put it in the web browser to make this very easy for us to be able to remotely support you. But you effectively enable local display. 
reset counting day uh, every day at midnight by default or you can select um, the appropriate time that follows your store pattern group number up to 32 groups but again most would have one group with a couple of cameras added to it rather than 32 groups you know that would be quite a complex system to manage for an NVR but we can have group number one group name is DVS entrance but you can say group two could be DVS uh, backdoor I can't type or anything really you just build it up people count in limit 10 and then you put a camera in there so it could be camera free click save but again it's very simple to do so select the group DVS entrance people count in limit so I put it as one but it could be the appropriate one it could be 50 um, then you select the appropriate cameras in there so there's only one people counting camera within this solution but again if you've got like say two entrances or three entrances you'd select the appropriate cameras that get added into this group and then it will give you that combination uh, of all three would work together as a group effectively um, as soon as you uh, added the cameras give it a name give it a limit there the other thing you can do is either dedicate the IP camera output, so camera number six output one will trigger and latch, or the NVR uh, output. So you could use that to drive a traffic light, lock the door, third party system trigger in, I know, whatever that is, or whatever you can invent in your head to offer to your customer base. Then you just select the, the output that follows it, notify surveillance center if you want to do that, click save. And, and that is effectively it. We're done. Um, you've got the reset count in there, so you can reset each group individually. Uh, again, if the counting's out and you need to quickly reset it, you can do that through the web browser, or you can do it through the local GUI menu as well. Say this replicates what you can do on the local GUI menu. Um, other than that, that's the only function we've added in this NVR firmware. It's dedicated to this people counting. The only thing you can't do through the live view is mimic that screen on the web browser that you can on the NVR, but that's why you bought the NVR, so you can do that exact GUI screen. Hopefully you found that really helpful. Um, we look forward to any content. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Wherever you are in the world, we'll get through this together and we'll see you very, very soon. Take care and we'll see you next week for another how-to video. Thanks.